I guess not. Not today, at least. It was a, you know, it took a little bit of time to get the, a little bit of flow in the offense. And I think that when it gets difficult, we usually throw it to her, you know, or run a ball screen for a trong or, or, you know, with her that involves her. And um, so that in the beginning, we were just talking about how we're a little spoiled um, and used to 20 point plus quarters. Um, but we, you know, it felt like the offense was a little slow going in the beginning, but we scored 17 and 19 in those two quarters. So really, I think that we're this year we've come accustomed to having so many 20 plus point quarters that we were really being a little particular and picky about that. So I, I thought we did a nice job. The biggest issue was um, they got too many points in the paint. I think that that was a big, you know, they weren't making perimeter shots, but we kept letting them get to the basket. And so that w- that was a challenge. But yeah, I thought our team did well without her. And um you know, that's, we wanted to, we know we're capable of a lot. She happens to score the most points on our team, but we have a lot of really talented players and pretty, really good depth, so. The thing I noticed is with seven minutes to go in the second quarter, you only had two assists at hand. Mm-hmm. And usually those get to flowing really early, and, and some of that's probably because of Vaughn. Yeah, well, she draws a lot of attention, you know, around the basket. And so that that's – you need people. And we – you know, Mountain Lies, and we were going small with Cali, and most of their forwards – they're pretty tall, actually. Um, they're one of the taller teams that we have, and they were playing some of their bigger forwards. And so when Cali's inside there and DB, they're not overly imposing size-wise. And so you can kind of go at them with one player and not want to risk what's going to happen on the perimeter. So I think that that was part of it. We also got a little stagnant with the ball. Uh, it wasn't moving very quickly around that time, and we picked it up, and obviously Lynn made a couple threes, um, and that was when we got the ball moving. It wasn't necessarily because um, they started helping all of a sudden. It was just that we were getting ball reversals, and the defensive field goal percentage goes down as your ball reversals goes up. So, I mean, In the third quarter, we saw that lead double, shot 66%. What was the conversation at the half? Well, it was a kind of uh, the easy points. We we definitely emphasized points in the paint for them, and then um, we had talked about just having better pace on offense. I think the pace really helped because, again, some teams are trying to junk it up on the ball screens and switching in different spots. They were kind of playing a straight up on a lot of that stuff, just trying to get there quickly and close out hard. And uh, we were acting as though they were switching. We weren't sure what they were going to do. Also, they went to zone, and I think we were ready. Um, we executed pretty well out of the zone. Um, so I think those two things, those three things, I guess, helped. How'd you feel about uh, getting to start there tonight? Just how'd you feel with her? Yeah, it's tonight? probably a career minute number for her. I don't know. You know, she, I thought she was very solid. I think she's been playing really well and, um, she's been coming in the second half of the season that we've had so far. If you divide what we've played so far in half, uh, she's been more productive numbers wise, right? In the first half she was doing right things, but not producing necessarily baskets or points or, or rebounds and, uh, second half, she's really changed that. So she's been scoring for us a little bit. She's been rebounding for us. She's um, tough around the basket defensively, and uh, so I, I thought she did a really good job. As a, she drew, I think she drew, she drew four fouls. You know, being around the basket and being physical there. So uh, I thought she had a nice game in her first start. A little nervous for her. You know, her mom's here and um, her good friend from home, and so th- there's. Definitely, and she didn't get to play in that last one, which her mom was here for. You know, so um, I think that there's some nervous at play into it, but she did a good job. Yeah, you guys, um, she doesn't get a ton of minutes for us, and we, we still have work to do on motor and some of those things. But in practice, she wins all the shooting drills. She she can beat anybody on our team in a mid-range shooting competition. She doesn't shoot a lot of threes, but she, she can win all those. She finishes well around the basket. You never know that she was undersized. Um, so if we could have her for a little bit longer stretches, then that would be great. But she's really skilled, and um, she has a knack for getting her shot off, and she's got she's the best ball faker we have. So uh, I thought that she also did a good job. She knows she's anticipating. Uh, I don't know. She didn't get lo- heavy minutes, but a lot more than she has. 17 for her is pretty heavy minutes. And so um, she was anticipating that. And I think in this being her senior year, she's she was hoping for it. It's been a bummer that she's been out with her injury, with her knee for so, such a long time before recently. And so it's great for her to see another opportunity like this. And then hopefully, again, coming up on Saturday. And talk about defense. I see Eliza, eight rebounds, two blocks. Um, what, was, what was her role tonight? Yeah, well, I think our whole team, um, you know, we everybody who played the game rebounded. Um, DB and um, Bree had um, 
four and six. Okay, so they had 10 defensive rebounds, and people forget about defense as being part of that. But Eliza, veteran, you know, she's a veteran interior player, so she she doesn't get rattled. She doesn't get rattled much at all in life in general. Um, she's very steady, and so while Mount might be a little bit Mount DB, Callie, some of the some of the guards because those guys are playing more time in the forward. Callie played forward, so that opened up some minutes for the guards. I think all of them fell a little bit more. Um, intensity, right? Even even the, maybe the three starting guards because they they need, thought they maybe need to score more points. Right? We have to make up for this this area where we're missing some. And Eliza just kind of does what she does. You know what I mean? She just she's a very calming influence. Um, I don't know, maybe a glue player. Uh, you know, I'm not sure yet if if she's that or not. Lenny seems like some pretty good glue too. But um, she's kind of that person who's usually doing the right thing. She usually doesn't get in foul trouble. So if someone does, she can take up extra minutes. If we need more rebounding, she can take that. If there's an issue on a matchup, she can kind of just shift over. So she's pretty versatile and steady. And um, again, I, I think we talked about it early with her, but she was hesitant whether she was going to come back or not. She'd had a tough go with injuries and some different things. And when she decided to come back, it was because she wanted to have the kind of year that she's having this year. So really happy that she did it. And I'm happy for her about it as well. Um, I just think leaning into being physical, I know that Pepperdine was really physical and without Vaughn, um, have to kind of be more purposeful in that. So yeah, just trying to be really physical, I guess. Yeah. You talk about Vaughn not being here, both of you. What were you kind of looking to do tonight to kind of fill the void as it were? Yeah, I think this team is really unique in the fact that one person doesn't do it all. Um, Vonnie is our leading scorer and rebounder, but it doesn't mean that when she's not here, we don't perform um, or succeed. So I think we wanted to play for her and have her be here through us and been reaching out to her. But um, yeah, just kind of not doing anything extra, but just being doing the 1% a little bit more, I think, yeah. Um, yeah, kind of. What what you said, I think, um, yeah, I really don't have anything more to add, <laughs> really. <laughs> you covered it. You had uh, family members in the uh, stands. Yes, I do. Uh, what was that like, you know, getting the start and having them be able to watch you there? So cool. I think my dad's so jealous at home. <laughs> um, but, <clears throat> um, yeah timing could it be better so I'm very glad that they're here very glad like I got to share it with them it's obviously something special um and nerve-wracking <laughs> but this one helped me through it <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah it's good to have them here um yeah, I think it's good that we're able to come out of halves lately and just say, you know, we're done with this now. We're just going to step over this. Like, we're not going to exchange buckets. We're going to take the great shots that we have been able to generate and, you know, close it down. And the fact that we're able to continue to make our lead grow instead of just keeping it at the, you know, 15, 20 point range. I think that's very special. I think that is the step that we, it's not like we relax. Like, it's not like, oh, like, it's enough. Like, we just keep doing what we're doing. And I think that's very important also thinking about March. Like, there's going to be teams that are really going to be able to bounce back. So if we can come out of halves like that, I think that's, yeah, it's a good thing for us to do.